Hi, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the app Multicon. Multicon. It is uh, one of the very first uh, widget apps I downloaded um, when I got my phone. Basically, I was trying to find a way to have icons without labels. I know some of you guys like your labels and your icons, but my feeling is... You know, the icon itself pretty much tells you what the app is. You don't need it written underneath it. And I didn't like the way it looked. I thought it made the screen look messy. So, uh, now there are a million different ways to do this. But back when I first got my phone two years ago, there weren't many ways to do it. And as I was searching for things, I found this app which uh, not only allowed me to have the icons without the labels, but also allowed me to make better use of my screen real estate because I could put uh, a lot more apps uh, in, a, in the same space and it looked neater and it looked cool. And then the app has been updated several times since when I first got it, so now it has even more features. Um, it's very simple and very basic, but it's one of the must-have apps to me. If, uh, if I were going to make a list of 20 apps you have to have to make the best use of your phone, then Multicon would definitely be on top of my list. And best of all, it's free. So let's take a look at the app. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at my phone. You see this screen here. As you can probably see, there are a lot of little icons on my screen, as opposed to there being a few bigger ones. Um, and that is through Multicon. Uh, if I just had the bigger ones, you can look over here and you'll see your standard four rows, four columns with one icon in each part of the grid. What multi-icon allows me to do, as you can see, is put a lot more slightly smaller icons. Still plenty big enough um, to see, plenty big enough to touch to launch, but makes much better use of the screen real estate. Let's see, zoom in here. So you can see them really good. There you go. And now you can really get a good idea of the difference here. Um, and you can still, you know, if you hit a space where there's not anything, nothing's going to happen. See, hit in between, nothing happens. So you're not, you're not so crowded that you're accidentally launching the wrong thing. If I want to launch eBay, it's really easy to touch eBay and launch eBay. If I want to launch, launch the Google Play market, as it's called now, then it's really easy to launch the Google Play market, which, I don't know if you've noticed, but it takes a lot longer to load now than it did when it was just the Android market. Um, so it makes good use of the screen real estate. Um, if you see, I have what you might refer to as a checkerboard pattern with my icons using Multicon. That's not necessary. That's just the way I do it because that's the way that I think it looks best. So let me show you how it works. Um, it's a, done through a widget. So basically, you're going to press anywhere on your screen and you're going to choose widget. Once the widgets come up, we're going to scroll down to Multicon. Once that happens, let's see, here we go, Multicon, very basic, four options, a one by one, a one by two, one by three, one by four. Um, I personally see no reason why you would ever use one by two, one by three, one by four, because all that does is limit you. You get the same effect as you do, you know, you can do two one by ones, and that'd be the same as having one by two. The difference is if you do two one by ones, you can move them independently around your screen if you decide to move them around. Whereas if you say do a one by four, well now you're stuck with the one by four and you can change things on it and move that whole thing around, but you can't move things around independently. So you can do that if you want, but personally I just recommend always using the one by one. That's what I use. So that's what I'm gonna use right now and what I'm gonna use to demonstrate. Um, this has nothing to do with the widget. This is just my uh, 
home launcher allows me to resize widgets if I want to. Once you've done it, you'll see you get four spots and you can put an app or a shortcut, which is a really cool feature as well, in any of these four spots. Um, once you've added it, you hit anything that shows the little Android guy and that'll bring up Multicon. Now you'll see here you can, once you're in it, you can reconfigure it. If you don't want four apps in that spot, you can reduce it to just one. And if you do that, it's going to be one really big icon with no label underneath it. It would be slightly bigger than what your your normal icon is in a one by one. Or you can have two next to each other with nothing underneath. Or you can have two on top of each other that would be centered uh, with nothing on either side. Or you can have the standard two and two. Now if you start getting crazy you can go three and three. Um, but in a one by one space that's probably not going to get you your best results. Um, but you can do that. I mean that's what's great about it. Uh, it's very configurable so you can set it up any way you want to set it up. Um, when you want to add something once you're in here you click the space you want to add it to it's going to populate the list of available apps. Any of your apps you can add on there. What's great about it is you can also add shortcuts. Let's see, for this app, let's add um, Act 1 Video Player. So that's going to be that. Now over here, let me show you a shortcut. You can go to a shortcut. Any shortcut that's available in your system is available through this app. What makes that great is you can set up direct dial, direct message, directions and navigation. So if you wanted to set up, you know, say you wanted to set up four direct navigation shortcuts to navigate you to home from wherever you are, maybe to uh, your best friend's house from wherever you are, or to your mom's house, or to work from wherever you are. You could, you know, using Multicon, you could set four different ones up in just a single one by one. Or if you do the checkerboard pattern like I do, you could set it up in just a two uh, one by ones. So, uh, you know, you're not using a lot of screen real estate, but you've got directions at the touch of a button to four different places. Or you could set up a Multicon that had, you know, a direct dial uh, home to your spouse and then a direct dial sell to your spouse and then another one direct text to your spouse um, you can set that up anything that's available in your shortcuts um, of course if you have something like forward organizer which is something i'll be reviewing later then you can pretty much create up a short create a shortcut uh, to just about anything um, so any shortcuts uh, note everything which is something i uh, reviewed before uh, you could use through multicon you can set up a shortcut directly to any of those uh, messages. So it's really uh, it's really nifty for that. I mean, it's really cool that you can uh, use shortcuts as well. Now the other button allows you to set up toggles. Toggle your Wi-Fi, ringer mode, whether it's uh, vibrate, silent, or ring. Uh, shortcut to your network settings, Bluetooth on and off, airplane mode on and off. You can set up those toggles. Um, and edit mode is once you have that on there that allows you to edit Multicon. I already have that on one of mine so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, right now let's, uh, let's do a Bluetooth toggle. So now you have your Act 1 video player there and your Bluetooth toggle there. Now with these other ones I want them to be blank. So you go to other and you click blank and that's what leaves this space. And doing that on a lot of them is what gives you that checkerboard appearance that I like. Um, if you wanted to edit other multi-con uh, widgets that are on your screen, you could click Edit More. But if you want to, if you're done, you click Done Edit, and now you'll see right there we have the Act One and the Bluetooth toggle. If I hit the Bluetooth uh, toggle, you'll see the Bluetooth icon. Oh, you can't see that right now. Just showed up. While I was trying to point to that, I started something else. 
But uh, if you look at the top, you'll see the Bluetooth icon is there. And if I hit it again, it's going to turn yellow to let me know it's received. And you see the Bluetooth icon is gone and turn it off. So it works great for the toggles. If you want toggles, you could put four toggles in that space. Again, I don't. For me, if I had four things in one little space, I would hit the wrong thing and launch the wrong thing from time to time. Um, that's why I like the checkerboard pattern. With the checkerboard pattern, you see, I already have, I set all of these up using Multicon. With the checkerboard pattern, I never have a problem launching what I want to launch, and I never have a problem accidentally launching something I don't want to launch. So it's great for that. Um, let me show you the editing mode. Um, you'll see down here at the bottom, that's that little, it looks like what Multicon widget looks like before you add anything to it. A little square with four little androids in it. And if I were to hit that, then that launches edit mode. So now every Multicon widget I have on my screen is now ready to be edited, as you can very clearly see there. So once you go in and you change whatever you want to change when you're if you want to edit more, you click edit more, it'll take you back to your screen and they're still in edit mode. And you'll see I use Multicon all over the place. Here on my home screen, I use it just for a couple of things that I want quick access to. Right on my, my main home screen. Once you're done editing, let's go in here. Say I want to change that Bluetooth to a shortcut. Maybe I want to make it a direct dial so it would take me into my contacts. I would select contact, I'd select AAA roadside. It's not a good one because it doesn't have a picture, but uh, collect and now it, as you see, it shows up there and if I already hit that, it would call them. When you're done editing, click done editing, then uh, it takes you back and all those little red overlays disappear to let you know you're done editing and now I have a shortcut to direct dial. If I uh, hit that, it should direct dial them. Okay, so apparently the shortcut to direct call or direct dial someone using the built-in Android way to do it will not work with Multicon. Uh, I believe it's a permissions thing that, uh, you know, as each new version of Android comes out, they require different permissions and things, and I think... Uh, the developer, this is a free app, and I didn't think the I think the developer just didn't want to deal with having to have a lot of permissions. Um, so I did create a shortcut for navigation right here to navigate me to the airport, and that'll work as you can see. That would take me into navigation. Um, this is a direct text call using the traditional route that does not work through Multicon, but this one I set up using Folder Organizer. So I went in here, went in here, shortcuts, and then use Folder Organizer uh, item. And once you do that, you see Direct Call. So that's through Folder Organizer. So when you do that, the permissions are through Folder Organizer, not through uh, uh, Multicon. So when I by creating that, that does allow you to direct call. So that would be one workaround way to do it. Apparently, you can't do it through directly through the app anymore, at least not on Gingerbread, which is my operating system. Probably not on Ice Cream Sandwich either. But if you have a previous version, if you're still on Froyo, you should be able to do it. So anyway, that's, uh, that's Multicon, and that's how I get all of these apps on that screen space, but still laid out nice and neat and easy to use and uh, yeah it gives gives you good use of your screen real estate and also makes your screen look good that is my review of multicon like i said it's uh one of the uh, first widget apps that i ever got for my phone and one that i've used the most consistently since i first had it i recommend it for everybody it's just a great way to make great use of your screen real estate and uh, also keep it nice and clean 
but uh, get more apps on there if you want. And it's free, so there's no reason not to get it um, and at least try it out. Um, it's available on the Google Play Market. Again, I'm Eric with HollywoodPhoto.com, working hard to be the number one Android video app review on the internet. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions uh, or comments, free, feel free to uh, post them below. Um, you can also get in touch with me through my website. We'll see you again real soon.